Uh, hello, uh, my name is Evan, and this is notes number 13, determining, determining slope given two points. So here are our main ideas. Uh, it's probably a good idea for you to write all of this down in your notebook. The slope of a line is a measure of its direction, increasing or decreasing, and its steepness. And we get an equation, so slope equals m. So if you see m in an equation, it means your slope. And that equals rise over run, or the change in y over the change in x. This sign here, our delta, the little triangle looking thing, uh, means change in. If we know uh, what two coordinate pairs of points that are on the line, uh, we have enough uh, to determine the slope of that line. Why? The rise of a line is simply the difference of the y coordinates of the two points, vertical change, and run of a line is simply the difference of the x coordinates of the two points, horizontal change. A convenient formula for finding slope is if we let the coordinates of the two points we know be x1, y1, and x2, y2. Then we can find slope by subtracting and dividing. So here we add another uh, thing to our equation, y2 minus y1 uh, over x2 minus x1 is equal to our slope. Remember that you need to find the vertical change and divide by the horizontal change of the line to find slope. Don't mix up the coordinates when you use the above slope formula, or else you won't find the right slope. So here are some examples. Without graphing, find the slope of each line described below. So our first one is a line that goes to the points 4 and 1 and 2 and 5. So let's do this down here. We have our points 4, 1, and 2, 5. So using our equation, we're going to subtract y2 minus y1, so our first y is 5, so 5 minus 1, and then 2, which is our x1, minus 4, and 2 x1 minus 4, which is our x2. 5 minus 1 equals 4. And 2 minus 4 equals negative 2. And this can be simplified into negative 2. So that means our slope between these two lines, the line of the line between these two lines is negative 2. All right, let's go to our next example. A line that goes to the origin and the point 10, 5. So the origin, whenever, whenever a problem says origin, they mean 0, 0, which is the middle of the graph. So our first point is 0, 0. And our second point is 10, 5. And now we're just going to repeat the process that we did in the example above. So y2, which is 5 minus y1, which is 0, over x2, which is 10, minus x1, which is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5, and 10 minus 0 is 10. And we can simplify this into 1 half. So our slope is one half. All right. This next example is a vertical line, one that travels up and down, that goes to the point six and negative five. So we have the point six, negative five, and here, we have to think about what a vertical line on a graph means. Well, if our line is just going straight up and down, that means it has a bunch of different y values. Yeah, but it only has one x value. And whenever you have a question 
that asks you to find a vertical slope, it's always going to be undefined. All right, now let's look at our next problem. A line that goes to the points 1, 6, and 10, 6. All right. So we have our points 1, 6, and 10, 6. Now here, we're just going to repeat the process that we did above. Now, y1 minus y2, 6 minus 6 over x1 which is 10 minus x2, which is one. So 10 minus one. So this, we're gonna get six minus six is zero and 10 minus one is nine. All right, and because we have zero over nine, that means our slope is just gonna be zero. So we're going to have a slope of zero. All right, good luck with all of this, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.